Magic Trio 6 Afternoon on the Amazon. Prologue. One summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious tree house appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the tree house. They found it was filled with books. Jack and Danny soon discovered that the treehouse was magic. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do was to point to a picture and wish to go there. Jack and Danny visited the time of dinosaurs, knights, pyramids, pirates, and ninjas. Along the way, they discovered that the treehouse belongs to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan is a magical librarian from the time of King Arthur. The travels through, she travels through time and space, gathering books. In their last adventure, Nine of the Ninjas, Jack and Danny learned that Morgan was an under a spell. To free her, Jack and Danny have to find four special things. In old Japan, they found the first thing, a moonstone. Now, Jack and Danny are about to set out in search of the second thing in Afternoon on the Amazon. Chapter 1 Where is Peanut? Hurry, Jack! shouted Annie. Annie ran to the frog creek oats. Jack followed her. It's still here, Annie called. Jack caught up with Annie. She stood beside a tall oak tree. Jack looked up. The magic tree house was shining in the afternoon sunlight. We're coming, Peanut, Annie called. She grabbed the rope ladder and started up. Jack followed. And they climbed and climbed. Finally, they climbed into the tree house. Peanut, said Annie. Jack took off his backpack. He looked around. Sunlight slanted across a stack of books, books about ninjas, pirates, mummies, knights, and dinosaurs. The letter M shimmered on the wooden floor. M for Morgan Le Fay. I don't think Peanut's here, said Jack. I wonder where she is, said Annie. How do you know Peanut's a she? asked Jack. I just know it, said Annie. Oh, brother, said Jack. Squeak! Annie laughed. Look, Jack! A small pink sock was moving across the floor. Yesterday, Annie had turned her sock into a bed for Peanut. Annie picked up the tiny lump. Squeak! A brown and white mouse picked out of the sock. She looked from Annie to Jack with her big eyes. Jack laughed. Hi, Peanut, he said. Will you help us again today? asked Danny. In old Japan, Peanut helped them when they got lost. We have to find three more things for Morgan, said Danny. Jack pushed his glasses into place. First, we have to find a clue that tells us where to begin, he said. Guess what, said Danny. What, said Jack. We don't have to look very far, she pointed at a corner of the treehouse. In the shadows was an open book.